Hey you, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Lali and I usually make videos about nursing and the NCLEX every Saturday. So if you're interested, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you could be notified when every time I post a video in regards of the NCLEX or nursing. Um, today, I want to talk about the nursing school that I went to. I did everything online and I just want to share my experience with you guys. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so I went to Excelsior College for my nursing degree. Um, I did an associate in nursing. So, Excelsior College, it's an all online school, all right? If you're interested in all online school, this is a really good program for you. At Excelsior College, you do have to be in healthcare in order to go to this school. So it's not just like a regular online school that you, you know, like if you're starting fresh, completely fresh, and you wanna go to nursing, this is not for you. If you are already a nurse, like an LPN, or if you are into, um, I think paramedics, they're they're you know they're able to do it as well. And I'm not sure what other titles, but if you're already in healthcare, you are able to do this program. And it was so great. I was an LPN, so it worked so well for me. Um, the Excelsior College, like I said, everything it's online. It worked so great for me because it was so flexible. I was able to work and do school at the same time. And like, if you've been following me for a little bit now, you know that I'm a mom of three and I am a wife and um, I work full time. So I have a busy life. I have a lot going on. And um, being able to still do those things and go to school was like very important for me. And I love that I was able to do that being in this program in Excelsior College because um, it didn't took away much of my time. Like it did because nursing school, no matter how you do it, it takes a lot of your time, but I was still able to um, do things with my family. I was still able to do my movie nights. We usually do movie nights every Fridays or Saturdays. We were able to do our movie nights or a game night. And um, so it didn't took everything, like my whole life away from me. I, it was very flexible. I was still able to work my full time job. I know a lot of a lot of um, nursing programs. If you get into them, you are not able to work at all, or you're able to work part time or per diem. Um, but with this program, I was able to work full time and still do the program. It was so. So great. I do recommend this program for parents. Like if you're a parent, if you are a mom like me, um, or a dad perhaps. Um, and you are interested in starting nursing school, if you're an LPN or a paramedic and you wanna do the you know, RN, then this program might be a good choice for you. You're welcome to look into it. I'm not promoting it. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just like telling you my experience with the program. And I did like it because of those reasons that I, you know, I told you. It was a really flexible program for me and I was able to still be a mom and a wife and you know, like still do this program as well. Another thing was that it didn't broke my bank. Like, you know, some nursing programs are super expensive. I'm not sure how much they really are, but they could be $30,000 or they could be like 25 and up. And this program, all my student loans that I have to pay for this program is $17,000 which is not that much compared to other programs. Another thing was that this this was my first student loan. So for my LPN, I was able to use financial aid and um, I, all I had to pay for my LPN program, guys, it was only $2,000 and change. So it wasn't even that bad. So I was able to pay that and then the rest was covered by financial aid, so it was amazing. And then for this program, financial aid covers some, like, it didn't cover a lot, but it covers, you know, a part. And then the rest um, were student loans. So my whole student loan was only $17,000, which is not a lot for an RN um, degree. So 
it was really good like i'm i'm really happy that that was it it wasn't more than that so it doesn't i don't think it's super expensive compared to other programs and um so you being a nurse or an lpn or you being a um, paramedic that counts as clinical hours so you don't have to do um an actual clinical every week or whatever however they do it at nursing school with this program you do the cpne it's called and the cpne it's a um it's your clinical basically uh right now with the pandemic they, they changed it i'm not sure exactly what it is i know they're doing a part that's virtual and another part that it's in person um, and I think they said it's only one day in person. It used to be three days. Um, so it used to be a three day weekend. That's where, when you would do your clinical. That's how I did it. Um, when I did it, the pandemic wasn't a thing. So I went, I did my three day weekend and um, that was my, the CPNE and I passed and it was like, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. I'm not going to tell you that was easy. It's a lot of studying and a lot of like, you need to like really study for it. So I was on maternity leave and I had all the time in the world, basically, well, in between taking care of my daughter <laughs> and um, studying, but I was able to study more because I wasn't working full time at that time. So um, one of my coworkers, which I am so thankful for her that she was like, she pushed me into it. I wasn't going to do it. I was going to wait and do my CPNE later on because I was like, oh, you know, I can't do it right now. Like I have a lot going on. I can't do it right now. And she kind of like pushed me to it. She's like, you should do it. I know you could do it. You got this. Um, study for it and go for it and do it. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to do it. I mean, I'm on maternity leave. Um, what, you know, what can I lose? Like, let me, I'll just try it. Either I pass or I'll fail. But at least I gave it a shot. So, and I had time to study for it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go and study for it and get it done. And I did when I was on maternity leave and I passed. So I'm like really happy about that. But like I said, it's not easy. It's not just like, oh, okay, the CPNE, I'm going to go take it and that's it. I'm going to pass. No, it's, it's a lot of like studying and you have to really focus. And um, it's, they're like very picky in regards of like what they want and how, and how they want you to do things. Okay. So, but if you do study up, they do give you guidance. It's not like they throw you out there, do this and that's it. No, they give you guidance, a lot of guidance. And um, just if you follow everything you need to do and um, you follow their, their recommendations, you'll be able to do a great job. So don't worry about that. Just study, focus, and you know, you'll, you'll get it done. And for the classes, so everything, like I said, it's online. Usually every week you have um, a topic or you have um chapters that you have to go through and then that week you went over let's say three chapters and then um each week they'll have a question and a discussion board so you have to kind of like answer the question there and then you also have to answer i think it was two other students um answer answer yeah their answer to the question whatever they answered you have to kind of like um talk to them a little bit more about their answer and then each week I had a quiz and then every other week you you get a, an exam of like all the other weeks that you study up. Well, I mean, it's it's a little bit of time consuming, but it wasn't like it, I, do, I don't feel like it took my whole life away from me like other student programs. Uh, I mean, another nursing programs. I do recommend it. And um, if you are interested in it, I'll put the link below so you could go on and check it out. For the application fee is fifty dollars. Send them your transcript from um, if you did your prereqs. I'm not sure if you can do the prereqs through them because I didn't do mine through them. I had them already done before, and you also have to take the TEAS test. So those are some things that you have to do. But if you're welcome, if you're interested in this um, program, go check it out and see what they are their requirements are because they change sometimes so that when i did when i applied to this program it was in 2017 and we are in 2020 so i'm not sure if anything changed but i do recommend that it was a really really good program and um yeah it got me my my rn license so i'm really proud of that and very happy if you guys have any other questions in regards of the um, excelsior college or my experience in the college, 
you are welcome to leave me a comment down below or you can also dm me through instagram also i am very happy to tell you guys that i reached 400 subscribers yay at 500 subscribers i'll be doing a giveaway i already have done two giveaways so trust me i'll be doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers if you're interested in winning this giveaway please share my videos um share it with your friends have other people subscribe to my channel so we could reach 500 subscribers and we could you know do that giveaway guys all right guys so that's pretty much it subscribe if you haven't done so and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next video bye now